how or in what way are we made in the image of God? Well, I, pardon? I just answered that in the sermon recently. Yeah, what did I say? <laughs> um, what were you thinking of specifically? You can tell well, me. Well, you had three key words that define that. And, um, no, you got it. Do you Go remember ahead. them? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to remember back to that sermon. It was phenomenal. It was three weeks ago. Pretty sad. <laughs> well, the ways that come to mind, first of all, in that we are designed for relationship. That is being created in the image of God. God is a trinity. Let us make man in our own image. So, um, unique to all creation, we can establish relationships. Um, relationships that basically carry the, the rich realities of life. I think, secondly, we can create. Um, animals do what they do by instinct, but they have no creative powers. But when you look at the human realm, the gap between whatever the highest form of animal is and what man is, is this massive, massive gap in which there's nothing created. And by creation, I don't mean you, you make you create something in the divine sense that you make something exist that never existed, nor did its components exist, but rather that you can take all that exists and out of that create that it's not just a matter of instinctively re reproducing the same exact behaviors in the same exact environments. That's why there's music and there's art and there's science and there's medicine and, well, there's all forms of of learning all forms of knowledge, vast, incomprehensible. I was talking to a, a girl uh, last Sunday who is a mathematician with a PhD in math, and uh, she was talking to me in a language I did not understand, and not in the least did I understand. I didn't even know the vocabulary. But she, she is um, one of the most brilliant minds in math. She works for Google X and uh, is a believer. And we think about God. We think about Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows His handiwork. Uh, day and night declare His glory. The sun takes the solar system across its own orbit, and all of that shows God. And as lay people, as uh, with minimum observable capacity with minimum, I should say, observational capacity, we can see that. But what, what you can't see, she can see. Because she goes down to the very depths of the mathematical structure of the universe in ways that were absolutely beyond my comprehension. And all she discovers there is God, the glory of God in the, in the micro, in the minutia, um, in the smallest possible possible conceivable way everything is mathematically connected and the schemes are, are absolutely inviolable and invariable and so she sees the order of God at a depth that I don't see it but that's because she is given by God the creative the powers along with intellectual powers to plumb the depths of things that non-humans could never, ever plunge to. So those are the two things that come to mind when I think about created in the image of God. And the other thing that I would emphasize is that we are eternal. We live forever. And that is the, the lasting way in which we bear the image of God. Did I get it? Yes, sir. You got it. Don't, don't mind us. We spend a lot of time kidding each other. So. <laughs>